Gusto mong bumili ng computer hardware but hindi mo kabisado yung market? Masyadong mahal ba talaga yung 21,000 for a 3060? If you're looking for pricing data, then this video is for you. Sinuri na namin yung mga presyo ng iba't ibang PC stores para makuha natin yung average price of some common PC hardware. Pero bago nun, below average yung price ng sponsor natin. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation, activation codes. Code. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, nagsindigi ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found a love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkeyoffer.com Episode 10 of Price Watch, which means we've been covering prices for over a year already and there have been a lot of changes. But ultimately, nakakatulong tong Price Watch if it allows you, the viewer, the consumer, insight whether to buy now or not. For this month, I would say don't buy. And tina natin yung data. On the GPU end, the 1650 went down slightly, but very slight, so no price difference really. The 3050 went up, the 3060 went slightly down, but ito yung magulo, yung 3060, mas mahal pa siya kaysa sa 4060. And I know a lot of people have been down on the 4060, not as big a leap as some people were hoping for, but all benchmarks agree na mas mabilis significantly yung 4060 over yung 3060. So to find it noticeably cheaper, almost 1,000 pesos cheaper than the 3060, that's a no-brainer by the 4060. But I know a lot of people might be saying, pero yung 3060 may 12 gigabyte version, which is the price that we follow. All of the prices we show for the 3060 are the cheapest 12 gigabyte versions that we could find dito sa apat natin na uh, major PC retailers. Don't you need more VRAM, especially for games in the future? But my train of thought is that if you're buying something like a 3060 or a 4060, you basically want to get good 1080p performance with 2K at a stretch to play games now. Di mo masyadong iniisip yung future consequences ng GPU. A GPU that can play games well into the future would be nice to have, but with your current budget, aiming for a 3060, 4060, Yung main goal mo ngayon is to enjoy the games that you have now. And in that regard, 8GB, 12GB doesn't really make a difference considering that the 4060 does have significantly faster performance than the 3060. Will you need that additional 4GB of VRAM from the 12GB version of the 3060 moving forward? A lot of people say yes. Me personally, I feel that a lot of Tech YouTubers in particular have just jumped on the hype train. Na, yes, more VRAM. Yes, more VRAM. But definitely for games now, the 4060 is better value for money at this price. Ah, yun nga, klarong klaro na mas mura siya compared to the 3060. If you're thinking long term, then you should probably put down more money for a better GPU anyway. Itong price point natin, it's enjoy now. Hopefully, you'll be still be able to enjoy a lot in the future. But it's not really something that you want to worry too much about, yung future-proofing at this price point. I mean, you know, it's a give and take. Yes, in a perfect world, we just get the best GPU with only budget. But there are limitations, price being one of them. The 4070 has seen a big price jump, more than 2,000 pesos. Pero again, if you dive into the data, let's do that very fast here per shop dive. Nagmahal yung 4070 kasi itong shop na to. Ito si Roy. Dati walang 4070. And you'll notice here in the previous data, wala siya none. Pero ngayon, meron na. 
But his 4070 is significantly more expensive. Ito kay Wedge is around 38,000. Price drop pa nga to. Same with Joker, around 40,000. So you're looking at around 37,500, 38,000 for a 4070. But uh, this destroys the average. So when we go back to the summary, medyo inflated tong 4070 na to. The cheapest that they had on hand skews much higher than the other cards. If you remove that very highly priced GPU from Roy, actually the average price would be around same parin, 37,500, 37,900. This is about the same. So again, have to look at how the data is being processed. I mean, there's no problem with the crunching of the numbers, but the interpretation, I try to make sure that you know where we're coming from with this data so that your buying decisions can be guided accordingly. Now, I wish I could say that there was an equivalent scenario dito sa 4080 kaya siya by around 4,000 pesos. But there isn't. <laughs> Tumaas na talaga yung presyo ng 4080. So, Wedge has it at 80. Roy doesn't have any. Joker has it at 86k. And that's an MSI. MSI usually mm, slightly cheaper compared to Asus. Although, this 4080 from Wash is actually cheaper than the MSI 4080. Wash also has a good price for the 4090. Joker a bit expensive at 128. Roy doesn't have any. And an even better price from Wedge. So actually, yung problema sa 4090, again, is the sampling rate. I mean, you can get one at around 108,000, but yung average ng tatlong shops is 118,000. If you're just looking for cheapest 4090, then this one from Wedge at 108,000 is pretty good. Now, the drought in AMD data continues. Buti nga may available pa rin na 6500 XT. 6700 XT, we haven't been able to find any since June. Not much of a price difference. Same with the XTX 7900. No real price change there. Although, I should note that for these lower end 6000 cards, they are getting harder and harder to find kasi maganda yung price nila. So, AMD has been quite aggressive with dealer support, basically providing subsidized rates or discounted rates. And then that's passed on to the retailers as well. So they really want to clear out already the stock of the lower end 6,000 cards. We've had customers in the shop asking for several models, but we ourselves have a hard time getting it because the suppliers are still hard to get. They still have supply of the 6,000 cards. And on that note, I just got a notice from a supplier today that they are also down to their last for MSI 3060, 3060 Ti. So they won't be getting any more stock moving forward. I mentioned a while ago that the 4060 is a superior choice, especially now where the price is lower than a 3060. That's the reason why our supplier won't be getting any more 3060s. The 4060 Ti though is kind of a hard sell compared to the 3060 Ti in terms of value for money. On now to AMD CPUs, not much of a change with the high-end 7950X. The 7800X3D has gone down slightly. 7600X maintaining about the same since last month. Price decreased from around two months ago. The 5600X, a venerable CPU, still very good. A significant price drop of around 600 pesos. Still very popular with a lot of people, the 5000 series of AMD, the last gasp of the AM4 platform. We still get a lot of customers that are buying new PCs, pero pinipili nila yung AM4, the 5000 series, kasi yung 7000 series medyo mahal talaga siya. You need to get a DDR5 motherboard, you need to get DDR5 RAM, the CPUs themselves are a bit more expensive, and price to performance, maganda pa rin yung performance ng 5000 series. So they are still a shop bestseller for us. 5600G, slight price drop, 500 pesos or so. The R5 3600, you know, that was a good CPU when it came out. Still a good CPU now if you're kind of cutting corners a little bit. It's down to 4000 pesos or so, 4.5. Although that was around its price nung June. Medyo maket siya nung last month and then now it's back to around 4000. Although the 4000 price is the best we've seen in its history. So even dating back to last year or so, mga close to 10,000 pesos, basically 50% off na lang R5 3600. It is an old CPU a little bit, but still good value for money, especially at this price. On to Intel CPUs, Team Blue. 
not much of a change for the 3900K. 13600K is at a good price. The cheapest we've seen ever, actually. So 18900 or so. Yes, historically, the best price for the 13600K, which is a popular performer. The 12500, we've seen it cheaper slightly a couple of months ago. Then the price bumped up, kind of went down, couldn't find it last month, and then now it's back on stock. So the 12 series is actually a good alternative depending on which models you're getting. You might not need to jump to the 13 series kagad. Sometimes the 12 series, depending on which model you get, is actually the better price to performance option. Intel is set to release its 14th gen, I think towards the end of this year. There's still some debate whether it's going to follow the same socket, LGA 1700, as the 13th gen. I've seen some rumors saying that it won't, but staff in the shop have seen rumors saying that it will. It's unlike Intel to continuously support the same socket over multiple generations. Nagulat nga ako dun sa 12 and 13. So we're gonna have to see how that shakes out. The one advantage though of 13th gen over its counterpart AMD 7000 series is that you don't need to buy DDR5. There are DDR4 boards. So you are able to save a little bit if you go down the DDR4 route. And the 13th gen has been widely competitive with AMD 7000 series. So just for the shop deep dives, Wedge has seen not a lot of price changes, but the changes that have been there have been price drops. Although very minimal price drops, like the 4070 was 37,990 and 37,950. 18,450 from 18,995. Price increase actually from Roy for the 6500 XT. Price decrease for the Pulse 7900 XTX. Uh, interesting, like the 36, again, yun nga, the 3060 from Roy is around 20, 21,000 pesos. You can find 4060s for cheaper than this price point. Basically, anything you should be finding 3060s below 20, and you can find 4060s as well, depending on the model. Black, yun nga, itong kay, we had this in the shop, the Zotac 4060 Spider-Man Edition, but it's sold out now. <laughs> we can't restock, or we're still waiting for restock of that one. But we do have, I think, a pallet. Yung 4060 namin ngayon is a uh, pallet. Maganda talaga yung presyo nitong Zotac, eh. And the brand is pretty good. My current GPU is a Zotac, and it has been chugging along for quite a while. So not a lot of price changes overall from the different shops for GPUs. Do note the price increases on the upper end of the scale. We saw that when we were talking about the price summaries a while ago, especially with washes 4080 and 4090. The 4090 actually has been going up for the past two months. So price last month, the cheapest from wash was 107,000. Now it's closer to 120K. So quite a big price difference. On to the CPU side, just a price increase slightly for the 7950X from Wedge. Everybody else is in the blue. So price drop, price drop, price drop. Roy, price drop, price drop. Joker, price drop. And Wash, no change at all. Um, very uncommon to see this from a shop. If, like what we do with Price Watch, we look at the prices. Before, actually, it was at every two weeks. Now it's just once a month. But you can really see that the Big shops like to tweak their prices. Di ko rin alam ano yung logic <laughs> by making it more expensive by 25 pesos, dropping it by 75 pesos. I don't know, but they like tweaking it a lot. You can even see that on a weekly basis sometimes. But here with Wash, apparently, okay na sila with their current prices. No price changes for CPUs, both from Intel and from AMD. So as always, this data is available 24-7. You can find the link in the video description and as a pinned comment. So even if we don't have an episode summarizing all of this, you can look up the prices dito sa sheet natin and at least you have a rough estimate on magkano ba yung item na gusto mo. So unfortunately, we don't have the time to cover all prices from all dealers that of course would have more data. But even this very rudimentary tracking is uh, time-consuming already. But I hope it helps. You can check it anytime, kahit walang episode. This list, this Google Sheet is available always. We never, it's always open to the public. So that next time, 
whether it's you're buying from us or you're buying from another shop, at least you have a very general rough sense if prices are going down or up and if it's a good price for that particular hardware that you're looking at. My advice last month was now seems like a good time to buy, but this month it seems a little meh. The price drops have been very small. If you're looking at the upper end, medyo umakyat actually. So the price increase has been a little high. And of course, we're coming up on the Christmas months where there will be a lot of price differences and promotions and things like that. So for this month, my advice is if you can hold out, hold out. Pang na lang yung 1660 Super Mo, ipon pa ng konte. Probably the next few months will be have better prices. Unless all the new AI companies need GPUs and start buying up your GPUs, which has been a fear we've talked about in other videos and in the podcast, where is AI the new crypto? Uh, long story short, I wouldn't worry about it too much just yet. So if you can wait, wait. If not, buy what you want and enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent table management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.